It's Tuesday morning. It's 20 minutes past six, and it's June the 27th. Can you believe it's June can the 27th? You, can you believe all he's telling me to have a joke about you still standing after a glass? If I'm taking, oh, is that what this if is I'm about? taking comedy tips from Andy through that window, <laughs> I will hang up my microphone. Ed, Ollie, anybody that's in there, the day I need you lot to give me advice for puns is long gone. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve that. Thank you very much, Ed. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome along. Yes, we are both still standing. Um, one of us had a very heavy weekend. The other one didn't. Or did you? Did you secretly have a heavy weekend? No, I had a great weekend. I was just, well done. Kids I know football. I heard about it. <laughs> Playing kids football and then oh, no. cancelled flights and stuff. Like that. It's too early to snort like that on air, isn't it? Oh, you threw one in there, didn't you? Yeah, it did accidentally. Normally it only happens after one it's never little been known. tipple. Do you know what I mean? But no, this is very early to start snorting like that. I'm sorry. Apologies, everybody. Right, what I did say was that Ali and me were going to go through the back pages we are. with the help of Sam Allard. And um, hey, look at that. He's brought all of his newspapers in. He sat there rifling through them as he does. <laughs> what would you like to start with? Um, page review on TalkSport with Tesco Mobile for Business. Join Tesco Mobile and get business phone bills for up to 40% less than the big mobile networks. Tesco Mobile. If it helps. For applicable terms and verification, see tescomobile.com slash business. And that's all we've got time for. Sam, thank you for that, mate. <laughs> You've done this for three years and you still don't know when the stuff comes in, I think you? you should watch your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, 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 you're leaving, so I'm not scared of you anymore. Exactly. <laughs> Go on, then. What's happening? Uh, let's what, do some what, back what pages, like shall with? we? Should we start with... It feels like we start with this every day, but it is the big story in the world of football at the moment. Um, back of the Mail this morning by Sammy Mockbell and Simon Jones. Arsenal are set to make a third offer for Declan Rice inside 48 hours after Man City. Wow, they finally tabled a formal bid for the West Ham captain worth £90 million. Arsenal will counter with an improvement on their own £90 million offer that was rejected last week, though the forthcoming proposal will not be in direct response to City's bid. Um, oh, do you not just think with this, Laura, as an Arsenal fan, it's pretty well reported, isn't it, that West Ham want, we believe, in excess of £100 million. Just give them an offer in excess of £100 million. He's a world-class midfielder. Don't mess about. City are in for him. Give them what they want. Stop messing about Arsenal because you don't want to miss out on this player, do you? Well, wasn't City's first bid 90 plus yes. 10 as well? Yes. Or something like that. I don't know. Like, I don't know how, how these things work. I think that they're probably trying to be a little bit more frugal with it. Um, but I am nervous. <laughs> I'm yeah. very nervous. Yeah. As soon as City ends the mix, you just think, oh, for God's sake, here we go. So, yeah, I'm incredibly nervous about it. Ali, if he did go to <laughs> Manchester City, do you think he would start every game? Uh, it would start the majority of them, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It certainly it wouldn't, it would not be a Calvin Phillips situation. That is for sure. I don't Rodri? think. I could see Rodri and him playing again, mm -hmm. and De Bruyne. I really could. I think that'd be that's scary. That kind of three in the middle of the park. To be brutally honest with you. On behalf of football in general, we probably don't want that to happen, do we? No. Otherwise, the league, we might as well just the go world domination. I think. What is it? Talk City. Yeah. That's what it would be called. Yeah. <laughs> but he, I mean, he, 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 I think he plays a lot more than he doesn't I know they've got you know, De Bruyne gets rested and things like that I think uh, I definitely think he'd play a lot more than he wouldn't and it's going to be nervy isn't it's it it's an interesting one but did you not see last week that his preferred option was Arsenal a lot of the newspapers were saying last week that yeah he wants to stay in London hmm well but, uh, do you know something it's probably his choice it really is his choice at this moment in time because both clubs will oh, will go to what West Ham we want you think so I think it's probably done to death at that stage another story in the papers this morning back of the mirror Roy Hodgson set to stay on at Palace next season a verbal agreement has been <coughs> reached over a one year deal uh, Palace did look at other candidates including Stevie Cooper Graham Potter and Brennan Rodgers before he took the Celtic job but Rodgers who turned 76 in August wow he is going to stay on Rogers, at Palace you mean Hodgson, Hodgson sorry is going to turn yeah. 76 in August not Bren Brendan sorry Brendan good morning Brendan <laughs> <laughs> apologies I started showing Brendan he got a haircut and he looked at me 42 man. It was a Hodgson's going to turn 76 <clears throat> in August is looking likely to stay on at Crystal Palace is that a good move for the club Ali? Eh, it's like a nails time will tell it. it's it, the whole thing's kind of bizarre isn't it really when you think about the situation back when 
you know, when Roy left mm. and they got Patrick in for this new style of football and then it started well and then it didn't and then they went get Roy again and they're going to give Roy another year. I don't have a problem with it, really, to be honest with you, but, you know, it's just kind of, the whole thing's kind of strange, a little bit bizarre, that whole setup, isn't it? Mm. I wondered if Graham Potter was going to go there. I thought there was a little link there. So I thought that that might be moving. I think a lot of Palace fans are excited about that. The other one, which is Sam Sleeds. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, what is going on since we've yeah. both been away? What anything Strange. happened yesterday? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm not laughing at anything. I'm on Leeds United. On Leeds United now. I mean, Patrick mm. Vieira was heavily, heavily linked, wasn't he, with with the uh, with the Leeds United job after he got sacked from Crystal Palace? You think he'd be he'd be a good appointment? But I'm just thinking it. Um, the boys will be back for pre-season in the next they, few days. Early right? July, yeah. Ah, yeah, the yeah. Next few days. Mm. They'll obviously have somebody to take the training in the pre-season, but you'd have to say that ain't a good ideal situation either. And one more quick one, because I know you're a Chelsea man, Ali. Uh, yeah. We know a lot of people are going to leave Chelsea this summer, that's obvious. The Suns say Ruben Loftus-Cheek hopes to seal a £15 million pound switch to AC Milan. <laughs> As Chelsea's clear out continues, £15 million. Pounds, mm. they say. Just wanted to mention this, because I always found Ruben... Really, really frustrating player. Same I think here. he has so much ability, Agreed. so much quality. Agreed. Whether it's through injury, just being out of favour at Chelsea, 27 years of age now. Just feel there's so much more we should have seen from this guy, not just at Chelsea, but also at England. And I really hope he can go abroad, play regular football, get himself in that team. Um, because when I look at him, I think he's I think he's the full package. So do I. I think he's got absolutely everything. So do I. I don't disagree with you at all. He always, he always leaves you wanting a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a terrific player. I really do. I think there's a lot of talent talent there. You two, now, come on, just, <laughs> just behave it. yourselves, will you? I mean, Lewis, dear me. Lewis what Bob? is this kindergarten Lewis. cop today? Lewis. What's going on? Why are you busting, Laura? <laughs> he's, 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 I think he's a terrific talent. But listen, he's 27. I mean, he's not 37. Still, time, absolutely, Still yeah. get a lot of time. Could go to Milan. Same age as me. Is that right? Yeah. Nah, I think your team's run out, He's mate. the same age as you. <laughs> yes. Is he seriously? Sorry. Yeah, I know. I think that's where the similarities end, though, to be <laughs> fair to, to Ruben. Um, we both like Laura, so not that. He's got, to, he's got to go. He's got to go and just, come on, have a go at it. He's yeah. get back in a... Could be a great say. thing for his career. Oh, it, it would be amazing. Be. Why not? You know what? Why not go and have a new but you know what I mean? new language? He, I think give it a sun. Yeah, I, I'm all for it. But he's got a lot more. He's got a lot more to give us than, than we're seeing. That's for sure, I think. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.